From the intro, the thumbnail, the title, I'm sure you guys know what we're doing. I'm making a girl tag horror game. What we're doing in this episode, because I'm going to make this in episodes, obviously, because I can't fit this whole thing into like one, will be up on screen now. Uh, most of it's going to be a time lapse it by the video. Uh, I'll leave this music on. There'll be some voiceovers and stuff. It's gonna be cool. Be sure to check out this game and join the Discord in the description, plus Lucy Tag Discord and the Project Splash Discord. Um, let's get into it. So here I'm basically kind of finishing up level one by adding some more pathways, some dark spaces, and here I'm adding a little vent that you can drop down into that the monster won't be able to chase you. So you can go like from the top into the bottom in like under a second and sprint away from that goofy arm monster that wants to touch you. So, this vent texture here gets fixed later, don't worry. Right now, I'm just taking off the mesh colliders, trying to make it look good, bake the light in, make sure there's no UV overlaps or whatever they're called, uh, using Pro Builder to make the vent look more rounded, making more hallways, uh, like just changing up the monster, stuff like that, making the lights, making open spaces, changing spawn, messing around with the lighting settings, etc. This right here is me baking the lighting. Bake lighting basically makes it so the lighting looks doo doo to good. Here, we're basically just checking the logs that we made from what we have to do, and we're testing out some new lighting settings here. As you all can see, these are brand new, but it will look pretty bad, so I do revert it in the end. I'm gonna quit yapping now because I'm about to talk, so I'll see you guys later. Just gonna do that. Just like that. Okay, now we're gonna get to the next thing on the dev block, which is adding finger animations. So, to do this, we have to go to resources for a VR player, and we need to go here and here and then go here. We need to add XR controller thing. Uh, it don't matter, so we'll just do a time lapse, so yeah. When you're making finger animations, it's a really tedious process, because if you mess up one bit, you have to do the whole thing again. This took me half an hour, because you'll see in a minute, once I finish the animations, I accidentally duplicate them all three times, so I have to restart, and it's just so annoying. So if you're ever thinking about finger animations, just do it cautiously and know what you're doing. I watched a tutorial about six times to memorize this all, so uh, there's a good tutorial up on screen now. So right now, we're making the kind of thing so the fingers have the full range of motion and they get triggered when you press the grip, trigger, A, B, X, Y, etc. Then I'm just fixing the fur texture so it was a little bit big, adding a network stuff, and uh, yeah. And boom, that's finger animations, like, pretty much done. Now I am going to add the room computer. This took me 45 minutes, because I've never added one before. Huge credits to Pear, shout out to Pear. This guy's an absolute lifesaver. It took me ages to find a tutorial. Uh, Y'all can comment, I'm the biggest yapper if you made it this far, because I'm yapping a lot in these kind of paper things. I'll see you in the next one. This is the last time I'm doing a voiceover. Bye bye!
and that is that done uh, so that is it for the video i hope you enjoyed i'll definitely see you guys in the next one peace out